you have already learned the naming conventions of java now let us see how can you write a java program in practical so here we have created our java program with a class name called welcome but what each of these statement does we need to first learn that the first statement says that import java.util.asterisk and then the semicolon remember one key point that any statement that you would want your program to execute should end with a semicolon and here import is nothing but which allows you to import any other package into your program and what are these packages packages are nothing but a collection of framework or classes that helps you to run your java program and what each of these package does we will see in the going forward videos but for now we have provided one package which is java.util.asterisk and this asterisk stands for that any classes interfaces anything that is available in this class will be included then we have provided public class welcome where here public is nothing but an access specifier and what this particular access specifier does is that it allows a programmer to reject or limit the availability of this particular class outside a package or not here in case of public it allows this particular class members to be accessed by any other class outside the package there are certain other access modifiers what each of them does will be be seen in the going forward videos the next we provide a keyword if you remember we have already discussed a keyword is nothing but which has a predefined meaning so here to create a class we provide the keyword called class and then followed with a class name here the class name is welcome where the first letter stands of upper case right so w is of upper case if you provide a small case it will throw you an error so once you provide the class name then you provide a curly braces if you open a curly braces you should also close the curly braces so any statement that you would want to be executed needs to be written under the class the next important point that you need to remember is a method like as a example of a human every human has certain behaviors right and this behavior may be sleeping running and all to execute all these behaviors java says that there should be a main method from where the java program execution starts so we have a method called public static void main in the bracket string args what each of them does is public we have already discussed it's an access specifier then you have static static says that in this case in this main method you do not have to create an instance or an object of the class an instance you may just consider as a copy of the class for now and what is static stands for we'll see in future then you have called void and main void is a keyword here which says that it does not have any return value that is this method will not return any kind of a value when i say value a value may be anything it may be an integer it may be a string it may be anything so it says void keyword is something which says you will not return any value next is the method name if you see the method name the first case is lower case so n is in lower case if you provide an upper case the interpreter will not interpret this method and again repeating any execution of the java program will first start with the main method then in the brackets you provide string brackets and args what does this stand it's nothing but an array of arguments an array of arguments because we do not know the size of the value that we will receive the size is unambiguous so we use an array to determine the value here is nothing but we use a heap which will store the value in a object reference which may be of a compiled value of a string format so any statements that you would want to execute you will have to provide under this so what happens in this case is that the java interpreter interprets the main method and then the compiler will execute with this void the compiler says whether we return any particular value or not what happens when you provide a main method or what happens when you do not provide will the java program execute yes the java program will certainly execute even if you do not provide the main method the compiler will compile the program 
but the interpreter will not interpret until unless you find the main method and in our previous example we have seen how do you provide certain comments but our main purpose here is to print a simple message called as welcome to tutorials point how do you print a normal message with that let us see we have written system dot out dot print ln and in the bracket in the inverted commas you need to provide the output that you would want to see and then you close the statement with a semicolon again repeating any statement that you want your program to be executed you need to provide a semicolon otherwise it will throw you an error and what does this each of these classes does system is a class and then out is a class for system and print ln is a method and these are available from a package called java.util.io so these classes are provided from them called as print string so each of them will help you to print the message if you want to print a message in a single line you can write system dot out dot print but if you want a break or next line after the statement that you have printed you need to provide print ln so going forward now we'll see practically how can you execute this program using a notepad or an eclipse or the coding ground which is available we have seen how a sample program looks like what is the syntax or how can you write so let us see one example how can you write in a notepad and execute it so in order to write a notepad you need to open a notepad write the java program same as it is which was provided earlier that is a sample program called welcome once you write the program in notepad save the file with dot java extension you can save it anywhere in our case we have saved it in e drive how do you execute is that you need to open the command prompt that is cmd once you open the command prompt go to the drive where your folder is located and the file is saved how do you exit your java program your program name is welcome right so how do you first run that you need to provide a command called java c then the class name dot java extension in this case the compiler will compile the welcome dot java class and create you a class file just in order to check what you can do go back to your folder where the file is saved you'll see that now that a class file is created once the class file is created then you run another command called as java and your file name in order to execute your program successfully and once you run your program successfully it will print you a message called welcome to tutorials point so let us now see practically how can you execute this program in this program we will see how can you display a simple message called as welcome to tutorials point we write certain packages and these packages provide us the collection of framework of the classes that are used to run a java program we have created a class called as welcome and the main method as in java program whenever we run this program the first method that gets executed is the main method so let us see how do you print a message we write system dot out dot print ln in the open brackets we write welcome to tutorials point where any string should be written in double quotes and then we close the brackets with the semicolon but what does this system dot out dot print ln stands for system is a class to java dot lang package out is a static member to this class and print ln is a method to java dot i o dot print stream package let us now save this file and see if we can see the output welcome to tutorials point we say control s we save it as an e drive a sample folder then we write our program name the program name and the class name should remain the same following with the java extension now let us see how do you run this file we open the command prompt as our file is saved in e drive sample folder and our file name is welcome so we need to first compile the file welcome dot 
Java. This will help us creating a dot class file. If you see, you can see a dot class file now. And now we need to see the output. So now it displays the output called as welcome to tutorials point. We have already seen how can you run a sample program using notepad. Now let us uh, see the readily available tool like Eclipse. How can you use Eclipse to run your Java program. So here once you download Eclipse the steps that you need to follow in order to run your program. First you create a project give a name to that project. How can you consider what is the project for you. Here for an example you are doing your graduation and you have been given a project and that project is nothing but hotel management. So this hotel management is nothing but your project name and once you create your project you need to create certain Java classes and how do you create a Java class? You need to go to the toolbar, select new and then click on Java class. This is how you create a Java classes and n number of Java classes you can create and you can also create n number of packages where each of the classes will fall under each of the packages. So let us now see practically how can you create project associate certain packages and then classes underneath. Let us now see how can you create the same program using Eclipse. You first need to create a new project which is a Java project. Give the project name. We write it as tutorials and click finish. This helps you creating a project. The second step would be to create a class. We need to select source file, right click, new, select class. Give the class file name that you would want to create. Welcome is my class file name. Every Java program starts execution with its main method. It's a good practice to select the main method here. Click finish. You can see that see that now one class file called welcome is created with the main method. Let us try printing the message. System dot out dot print ln where we pass a string value called as welcome to tutorials point. We shall save this file with the help of control s which will automatically compile the file. Click on function key F11 to run the program or click on run to see the output. If you can the console display the message called welcome to tutorials point. Let us see another method which says system dot out dot print hi everyone what does this print stands for and how it differs from print ln print also overloads the string it means it tries to display the string message as hi everyone and print ln purpose is also to display welcome to tutorial point that is a string but what is the difference between print and print ln Print ln would display the text following a next line that is an enter whereas print would only display the string. Let us save this file and try running to see the output. The console says that hi everyone welcome to tutorials point. It prints the entire message in one single line because the first string is written under the method called print. Let us now swap these methods to see how the output looks like. Control S again F11. Now you can see it displays the string in two lines. Welcome to tutorials point and again in the next line it says hi everyone because the print ln displays the string message following with an enter. 
we have already seen how to create a sample program using one of the text editor using one of the tool like Eclipse. Now let us see what if you do not have any of these available then the tutorials point provide you a coding ground where you can execute your Java program. So what you need to do is that go to the tutorials point dot com on the right hand side you will see a coding ground tab click on that you will have an editor available where you just need to go write your program compile and run the program. So now let us see how practically you can use or how you can write this program. Let us now see how you can execute the same program using the coding ground available with our tutorials point. First you need to go to our site which is www.tutorialspoint.com. Click on coding ground tab and then the language that you would want to run in. For now we want Java 8. We click on Java 8. And this will display the coding ground where you can create your file. So the first step to create your file would be here you have a plus symbol you can click on that that will create an additional file or under file you can create a file or by right clicking on root. So we say create a file and the name of the file I would want to say as welcome dot java file. In this java file we write the syntax where we have provided the util package the class name is welcome multi line comments and in the main method we have written single line comments and multi line comments and the first method where we are trying to display the output called welcome to tutorials point. So you just need to go write public class the keyword class name as welcome where w first case will be uppercase in the open braces we now know how to write the multi line comments and then in the main method is what you will write what you have to print. So we want to print welcome to tutorials point under the println method. So system dot out dot println welcome to tutorials point. We need to first save this file then compile and execute. We need to go to the project compile options. Hello world is a by default file that you would want to run. So we are just changing the name of the file at compilation time and at execution time which file is to be compiled and executed. Once you update that click on compile. This will compile your file. The compilation code is java c your class name dot java. Once it has successfully compiled with no errors you can click on execute and this will execute your program. This is where you get the output called welcome to tutorials point. So similarly you can create any other files by clicking on the plus symbol then changing the compile options where you change the class name in the compilation and execution time.